The success of NASA's Artemis 1 mission in 2022 created a lot of optimism and hope for all Americans regarding a future in which our country will once again set foot on the moon. We've been eagerly looking forward to the next mission, where the HLS Starship's presence holds the promise of directly carrying American astronauts to the lunar surface. However, NASA just declared no lunar Starship landing on the moon, so what actually happened? And is the HLS Starship in big trouble? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. NASA's Artemis program is scheduled to land astronauts on the moon by the end of 2025, marking the first crew to landing on the moon since 1972. However, SpaceX's challenges with its lunar lander technology could potentially postpone the eagerly awaited mission. At a briefing at Kennedy Space Center in Florida in August, James Free, NASA Associate Administrator for Exploration for Exploration Systems Development and Head of the Artemis mission stated, we may end up flying a different mission if that's the case. If we have these big slips out, we've looked at if we can do other missions. This demonstrates a clear intention that the U.S. space agency NASA may alter the scope of the Artemis 3 mission if there are substantial delays in implementing crucial components of the program. This ain't the first time NASA has expressed this concern, as even two months ago, NASA was worried about delays in the progress of SpaceX's Starship spacecraft. Free hinted then that the targeted launch date of late 2025 could be deferred to 2026 due to issues. Under the Artemis program, NASA is planning a series of missions of escalating complexity to return to the moon and build a sustained presence in order to develop and test technologies for an eventual journey to Mars. The first Artemis 1 flew an uncrewed spacecraft around the moon in 2022. Artemis 2, planned for November of 2024, will do the same with the crew on board. However, it is during the planned Artemis 3 mission in December December of 2025 that NASA has outlined a return to the moon after 50 years since the last Apollo lunar campaign. This time, the mission targets the lunar south pole, where ice can potentially be harvested and converted into rocket fuel. In addition to NASA's moon rocket SLS and the Orion capsule, SpaceX's lunar lander, the HLS Starship, also plays a pivotal role. They have secured a $2.89 billion contract to utilize a lunar lander version of the Starship, to transport humans to the moon by late 2025. Subsequently, another contract valued at $1.15 billion signed last year outlines the Artemis 4 mission set for 2028. Before it can land humans on the moon, however, Starship has to carry out an uncrewed mission to the lunar surface first, which also involves launching tanking vehicles to Earth orbit so that they can fuel the vehicle prior to its journey to the moon. Demonstrating this to NASA will be crucial to influencing the agency's Artemis 3 timeline and suppliers working with SpaceX to ensure that Starship has the equipment to support crewed missions from lunar orbit to the lunar surface. That's a lot of launches to get those missions done, Free is quoted as saying. They have a significant number of launches to go, and that, of course, gives me concern about the December of 2025 Artemis 3 launch date. In fact, Starship conducted its maiden test flight in April this year. However, the colossal Colossal rocket unfortunately encountered an issue preventing it from separating from the launch vehicle, which resulted in a controlled explosion. If you have a background in aerospace rocketry, you'll understand that success in this field often begins a path of failure. This marks a promising beginning for Starship itself and SpaceX as a whole. At the very least, the rocket took off and cleared the launch pad. However, such an outcome didn't satisfy NASA. Free even suggested that Artemis 3 might involve a crewed mission orbiting the moon, similar to the Artemis 2 mission planned for late 2024. Artemis 3 could also change based on the outcome of Artemis 2. And honestly, Free's statement is quite hard to grasp especially when it comes to the exact interpretation. It could be that Artemis 3 might consist only of a crewed lunar orbital flight, similar to Artemis 2, planned for late 2024. Alternatively, it could be taken as if the delays faced by Artemis 2 could trigger a chain of delays for Artemis 3. And how can this be? Well, let's first examine the current status of the SLS and Orion components. The costliest rocket is still under construction and its assembly process 
service has been postponed due to an unidentified issue affecting the large tubes transporting liquid oxygen to its engines, known as downcomers. The SLS for Artemis II is undoubtedly falling behind schedule and incurring additional costs if the issue isn't resolved. Moreover, the Orion capsule is grappling with a significant issue concerning its heat shield, an essential component that shields the crew from the 5,000 degree Fahrenheit plasma upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Based on information from Artemis 1, fragments of Orion's AVCOAT heat shield system unexpectedly broke apart into chunks instead of experiencing even and uniform erosion during re-entry. Hence, the heat shield predicament remains a substantial hurdle for the safety and success of the Artemis 2 mission. On the other hand, following the inaugural launch of Starship, SpaceX swiftly made improvements in preparation for the upcoming second launch. This includes the successful development of an extensive drainage system, creating a more robust launch platform, and implementing modifications to the rocket to address challenges from the initial launch. Booster 9, along with Ship 25, are also undergoing continuous testing and refinements at an accelerated pace and are nearly ready for an 85% launch readiness. The latest discoveries encompass images of the nose cone labeled with a person-sized door on the left side. Of paramount importance, we've observed the presence of a life support system, a crucial component in crewed spacecraft. Furthermore, to assuage NASA's concerns, SpaceX has provided the firm with an updated schedule and the agency has visited Starbase to take a detailed look at SpaceX's milestones and hardware for a propellant demonstration and an uncrewed demonstration flight next year. Free explained that the insight NASA gained from its visit was tremendous, with the 12-hour visit providing teams a chance to discuss the cryogenic propellant transfer mission. While all information is clear, Free added that NASA will release updates to the public shortly once it has had time to digest the information gathered during the Starbase visit. This signified that NASA still hasn't fully placed its trust in Starship, regardless of what SpaceX has accomplished in the past four months. It must be said then that in a fair partnership aiming for mutual benefit, it's important to have trust in the other party's maximum potential for success. NASA should also bestow more confidence in SpaceX based on its efforts and achievements. By doing so, the progress concerning Starship wouldn't cause as much commotion within the community. All attention is focused on Starship and its lunar mission, even from significant competitors. One of these competitive adversaries is China, a nation closely scrutinizing the progress of the United States in the realm of space exploration. Their ambitions for lunar dominance have become well known as they announced their goal to land their crew on the moon by 2030, establishing their own presence on its surface to compete with NASA's Artemis. This has garnered special Special attention from NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. Naturally, I don't want China to get to the South Pole first with humans and then say, this is ours, stay out, like they've done with the Spratly Islands. China is akin to a war horse in this regard. They have researched and developed launch vehicles, spacecraft, and various equipment, all geared toward their goal of sending humans to the moon. The leading China lunar research station is also in progress. According to Nelson, the United States and China are racing to see who can be the first to access the potentially trapped water ice reserves at the lunar south pole. Finally, Bill Nelson highlighted the importance of safeguarding the community's interest against potential monopolization by China that might not be shared with others. To achieve this, NASA's lunar ventures need increased attention and acceleration. Each successful Artemis mission represents a significant stride forward in this competitive race. As for Starship, there are high expectations for 2023, anticipating one or two more successful launches. There might even be more until Starship Starship proudly takes flight toward the moon. And that's all, folks. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. And as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.